Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 14th, 2020. So today we have Cherry Live an Extraordinary Life. The number is nine. So really what we're talking about here is we are done with the old way, we know that. And I bet a lot of you out there have been feeling very anxious, very restless, not sure what the future holds. I mean, over the simplest things, you know, uh, for me, I was supposed to go home and see my family and now I'm going, is it safe to fly? I'm not sure. Do I really want to drive across the country? I mean, that's good vlogging content, I suppose. <laughs> that is a good opportunity for that. But, you know, that could be a little scary to do that on your own, you know, so on and so forth. Or in a bigger way, how is my health? How is the health of my loved ones? What am I going to do for money? I know I'm going through that myself. Uh, and on the self-employment side of things, it's a little bit complicated. So, you know, we're all going through a lot here. But what this card is saying is no matter what the external circumstances are, dun dun dun, y'all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> no matter what the external circumstances are, you can find a way to adjust. So in a way, this is a card that says, trust yourselves. Are you realizing who you are? What are some of the things that you've had breakthroughs over? Please comment down below. Because if we're talking about uplifting stories, that's one of them. I'll share mine really quickly here. I started to realize, oh my goodness, I let other people really define me. I let other people think that their approval matters. Now, you know, if I want to have a connection with good-hearted people, you know, they're not going to be sitting around judging me all day. They're not going to be expecting me to be the version that they want me to be, right? And I'll say this too, if you are in a love partnership and you realize the only way this love partnership works is if I change who I am to suit the other person. If I live up to their expectations, then I'm lovable. And maybe we're all having these huge breakthroughs of, I don't need your approval. It's okay for me to shine. It's okay for me to be successful. It's okay for me to go off and express my talents. It's okay for me to let this relationship go so that I can start fresh with a better basis. It's founded on unconditional love. Again, whether that's in love partnership or friendships. Maybe some of you out there have gone and realized, you know what, I'm tired of putting energy into someone else's success and then getting passed over for raises. Maybe you're, I know a lot of you out there are long overdue for raises. I remember the corporation that I worked at, when I came in, I was getting paid half of what other senior level executive assistants were getting paid. And that, <laughs> I'm just going to let you in, the, the senior level executive assistant that I was making double what I was, she would go, not kidding, would take three hour lunches, would come back and flip through a newspaper while I was taking all the phone calls, running reports, getting our boss ready for their next meetings and <laughs> things like that, um, or getting my boss ready for his next meeting and helping out people that helped him out. So this is one of those things of knowing your worth and finally feeling centered enough and I'm not saying doing this in an explosive rebellious kind of way but a firm knowing and just not accepting that treatment so live an extraordinary life is about breakthroughs it's about making the best of what is embracing your time at home I've done a lot of cleaning <laughs> I've done a lot of cleaning but I've also learned for example that I can still maintain a wonderful relationship with my family without traveling to my hometown four times a year. Maybe I go down to two times a year and that'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like this is an extraordinary time that can have a lot of positive outcomes. So nine is completion. And I, what I, you know, and it's a God number too. So it's saying, you know, look at the deeper wisdom going on here. Look at the gift in what is happening. All right, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.